Welcome to I Have VB, where we're itching to teach you about programming. This video begins a beginner's series on how to develop in Visual Basic.net, starting with variables. A variable is a storage location and an associated symbolic name or identifier which contains some known or unknown quantity or information, typically a value. Silence. That's what I thought. Doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Alright, so let's let's navigate to msdn.microsoft.com and uh, basically this is where we're gonna be going a lot of times to reference the developer documentation for Visual Basic .net. Uh, if you have an issue when you're trying to develop, go to MSDN and search and see if you can't find an answer. It's a fantastic resource. So back to variables. There are a lot of basic variable types that we'll be working with. I just like to point a few of them out. Uh, there's Boolean, just like in mathematics. It means either true or false. True being zero, false. Blah, blah, blah. True being one, false being zero. More on that later. Then there's date, which is just like it sounds. It's for storing a date. Then there's integer variables like decimal, double, integer, long, short, single, and a couple of others. And usage of those will be depending on what type of number you want to store in those variable. And then there's string variables so I'm having a great freaking day if I wanted to store this phrase into a variable I would have to use a variable of type string maybe I don't know what I want to store in my object maybe my object will maybe my variable will be a string of text maybe it will be a number maybe it will be a single character like A or E. If I don't know, I could use a generic variable like object. Alright, let's open up Visual Studio Express for the web. And let's go to File, New Website, Create an Empty Website, and I am going to create a website about Christopher Lowell. you might not be familiar with Christopher Lowell. Who is Christopher Lowell? This is Christopher Lowell. Christopher Lowell is a fashion designer and he is fabulous, I guess. So now we're gonna go in our Solution Explorer window for our project we just created and we're going to add a new item, add a web form, default.aspx, that'll work just fine come back to the Solution Explorer, drill down, and I want you to double click on default.aspx.vb. Then we're just going to type sub main and don't worry about that right now, we'll come back to it. And basically with variables there's two things that you have to do. You have to declare a variable syntax for that is dim and the variable name as and then you declare the type and our type in this example will be string and the second thing that you do with variables is you assign them a value so my name variable here I'm gonna assign the value of Christopher Lowell Now here on this line I've declared the variable, I've, I've created it, I've instantiated it if you will, and I've assigned it a value. But we don't always have to assign a variable a value when we create it. And this would be a good example. So dim name variable two as, and this one will be a string also, and 
I'm just, you know, doing some other action, and then I want to assign it a value. Well, then I just reference name variable two equals, and I'm also going to say this one's Christopher Lowell. Fabulous. So now we've created a variable, and we've assigned it a value later, and we've also assigned it a value upon creation. Now let's talk about some more variable types. So in our first examples we were using strings. Now let's use uh, an integer for example, dim. Int age as integer. And this equals 34. I don't know, I have no idea how old Christopher Lowell is, nor do I care. Um, then we could have another dim, another variable here, dim, let's see, what do we got? Bool, I'm just kidding. as we've got dim bool happy as boolean and that can either take the value of false or true so now basically what we've done is we've created a couple of variables we've assigned them values and we've talked about common variable types if you are interested in other variable types that I weren't that weren't mentioned or you need more details, uh, I'll be providing the link to MSDN in the description. Uh, if you don't have Visual Studio Express installed, I'll also be providing a link in the description. Let me see if I can mumble a little bit more. And uh, let's see. One more thing is uh, when you name your variables, use camel case. And what I mean is the first part of the variable is lowercase and all the words that follow it are basically uppercase and that's a simplification but that's good enough for us now to get us going in the right direction hoo so feel free to post comments questions criticisms and your mother's maiden name below if there's anything you're itching and scratching to learn about programming, please email me at ihavevb at gmail.com. Please subscribe, and thanks for watching.